Yo guys, Snax here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this demo slider here. I hope it will be helpful and I hope you will improve with it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It would really help, help me a lot. Now let's get into it. All right, so first of all, we have to drag our render like that. And then we go to the text tool and we're gonna have to make the text. So we go to the fonts and we choose Roboto. I will leave a link in the description, of course. And now we have to make like smaller, like that. And just type name. I'm just putting like the name, nickname for uh, this video for purposes, but generally, of course, you have to choose your nick or your client's nick. Then we're gonna have to right click and press convert to smart object, then go to edit, transform perspective and make it like like that. And uh, we have to make we make the text bigger a bit like that. And uh, we want to make the M black like that. And then we go to inner glow and make the glow as the color as the render main colors like that and now just erased everything besides the m like that and now we're gonna have to create a layer and create clipping mask and just make some basic light with it then go to blending mode blending options and liner dodge just like that maybe make it like smaller all right now we're gonna have to hold shift and at the first and the last layer of the text and convert to smart object go to stroke and make the gradient as the colors as the of the render so like that and just black and make the stroke a bit bigger maybe a bit smaller like like that Yes, it's perfect, I think. Now we're going to make the Chinese letters mm, next to the text. So go to fonts and press Sintekana LDR. I will leave a link in the description. And just make some letters with it. then press edit and make it larger like that now change the text of the Chinese letters to white then left click two times to go to blending options and just play with stroke stroke is the same stroke as the text so yeah yes now it's perfect and now we have to um, we have to play with the background because now it's dark and it's not very very good looking so we have to make our Chinese letters again just like that make it bigger of course because it have to it has to uh, fill the background just like that and change the colors to the text of the render and the text <laughs> make it like dark yes and then go to stroke and make a stroke again maybe like 12 yes it's perfect now convert to smart object go to uh, image adjustments and expo exposure and make gamma like correction a bit bigger to make it like more co colorized and dark this is perfect and now we have to drag our uh, background 
a background is of course uh, the background of the main render. Now we have to erase it a bit to make it look more clean. And now go to create create a map and create clip a mask. First first color is going to be black and second color is going to be like like blue. Just like that. And now we have to copy this uh, background and just transform and flip horizontal because so we're gonna make the same uh, one at the left just like that and now we have to hold shift at uh, the two layers of the background and uh, convert to smart object and then go to opacity with 25 yes it's good now we have to add some uh, butterflies to our um, to our background. So we have to transform to f yeah flip horizontal and just put some put some butterflies here. Then go to gradient map and create the same gradient map as the text and the background, of course. And just copy this butterfly and put it in some 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 places at the header. So we can put it maybe maybe here, like like that. Maybe we can put it like next to the text. For example, like here, alright it's cool, and we can also put it next to the main render to make it look more interesting. Just like that, then go to filter, blur and gaussian blur, and make it 10. Yes, uh, and now we have to add some particles in the background. Um, this is my lunar pack, which you can buy in description, so you will have uh, you you'll be able to use the same stocks as me. If you like my work, of course. And now we're gonna have to drag these particles and put it uh, next to the background. Right. If uh, and if we are do uh, done with uh, particles, we can also add some uh, butterflies because the render still fe uh, feels kind of stiff, you know. So just get some butterflies like that. Then uh, put it lower, like next to the background, right, and go with the same gradient as as the render. And the text, of course, blue like that. Yes, now it blends nice with, uh, with the background. Maybe we can make it smaller like that. Then copy it and maybe put it down here. Yes, now it's cool. Right, um, and now we can also add some more butterflies, but maybe with with white colors to make the white color m pop out more. Just like that. Then go to blending options, I create and create a shadow. Just like that. We can do the same thing on the text to make the text feel more interesting and cool. Put these butterflies in some places. A 
maybe we can also put it down here all right and now we're gonna have to uh, create some lights so we're going to flowers and take this one here all right and make the make the color like like that I think yes it's cool erase it a bit to make it look better all right and now uh, we're gonna play with a render to make it look better so go to hue and saturation, create a clipping mask and uh, try to make the colors fit the main colors then play with blending mode just like that I will make it like 50 yes it's cool just like that Alright, and make the opacity like fifty. Yes, now it's cool. Alright, and now uh, I think we put it done with the header. Now we're gonna have to make some final effects to it to make it look better. So uh, we're gonna have to create a layer and just make some some basic glows like that. Right. Then go to blending mode, and I think linear dodge will be cool, and make it like like 20. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Now we have to hold shift at the first and the last layer and create a group. Then create Control Shift Alt and E to make a layer. And now we're gonna have to just make some effects uh, with the Camera. Alright, so I think we are done with the header, that's how it turned out. I added some blur and some uh, camera roll to it and now it looks way better than before. Uh, if you are also uh, like this header and you want to practice with it, I will leave a link in the description which, where you can download the PSD. And if you also uh, liked the tutorial, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it would help me a lot. And yeah. Uh, see you in the next video.